Hi guys. For some reason I've had a few comments recently about this old uh, dash camera. I did some videos about it many years ago and for some reason they've been getting comments recently. I did modify it for an external battery and I just thought I'd leave it stuck to the window here looking out at the garden and see how long it ran for on that battery which is, is that 500 milliamp hour? 600 milliamp hour. So that's obviously stopped running at some time so we'll just have a look and see how long it ran for. just so I can try the uh, night vision, the infrared probably too close to the camera don't know if that would be any better a bit further away trying to get the focus just thought it was worth a try I think we're on 1080p at the moment summary time well, it was a cheap rubbish dash camera when I bought it, cheapest I could get hold of at the time and it does rather show that it's cheap. The image quality is pretty awful. I can't tell a difference between the 720p and the 1080p. Uh, it does work in the dark. The infrared LEDs do illuminate quite well so that answers a question by Mike Flight we could potentially use it outdoors um, as a wildlife camera. The motion detection does work. I did test that. Uh, I don't know how well it works, but it does work. If I wave my hand in front of it, it will trigger the camera. So, yeah, it possibly could be used as a wildlife camera Obviously not out in the rain, because it's got no um, water protection. But in the shed or in a covered area, it probably would be okay. Bearing in mind that the image quality is not very good. That battery, which we looked at earlier, 600 milliamp hour, that lasted for 72 minutes. because so I had it set to one minute... Um, clips and it did 72 clips so that makes it quite easy to work it out that it lasted for 72 minutes or about an hour and a quarter roughly um, so that's it it's it's just a, a camera that I've got in my selection that's not much use for anything but I might be able to set it up somewhere where we can use the um, motion detection on it and I could easily fit a much larger battery so it would last all night or at least certainly for a few hours because just putting a bigger battery on it isn't going to hurt it it's not going to put too much current into it it'll only draw what it actually needs I could put a dozen of my vape batteries all in parallel so they got big capacity and still just 3.7 volts or 4.2 fully charged so it's got potential I won't throw it away but I think I might be putting it back in my stock for now thanks for watching if you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video you might like this one up here and if you want to subscribe you can check out my channel over here up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. 
Thanks again for watching.